Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to Byzantium, where we are making Rome great again. We are helping our buddy France in a war right now. He's declared on the Empire, so we're at war with the Emperor and all of the Emperor's ilk. So far, so good. Thanks for resubbing Sicator. Put some love in chat for Mr. and or Mrs. Sicator. Uh, we, did, we did get a stack wipe at the very start of the war. We lost a stack of 32 guys. Um, but it turns out it's not really that painful. We're able to fight these armies off. The tough thing is he's got a three-star general, and he's got you know a pretty beefy army with a, it was it was a sixty stack versus my thirty stack, and we died almost instantly. It was so quick, um, mainly because of his general, and he outnumbered us two to one. So I'm trying to keep my armies sort of on the defensive, so I can reinforce each other when the need arises. So I've got two guys, two stacks just chilling in the back, while two other stacks siege down his capital and whatever this other fort is, Oberlausitz. Meanwhile, the main army is fighting up here because the Commonwealth has declared a second war on the Empire. So it looks like the Empire is getting, you know, squished in here in the middle, which is just fantastic to see. In fact, I'm tempted to declare on Nice, but I don't think I can because it's in the Empire. <laughs> I want to get Nice for my vassal so I can start annexing my vassal, but I don't think I can actually declare this war because I'm currently at war with the Emperor and this is in the Empire. It's one of those weird restrictions. You just can't have multiple wars with the Empire at the same time. So I don't think I can declare that war. Isn't that silly? Yeah, the Empire is just silly. Well, meanwhile, his capital almost fell. 14%, 21% counting. It looks like we can tech up. That's probably going to be Diplotech. Yeah, go ahead. Let's start catching up on Diplotech because I would like to upgrade our navy. New heavies, new trade ships, new everything. Oh, there goes Bohemia. Really? He gave a province to Hungary and he gave nothing to me. <sighs> France? France. France. We're gonna we're gonna have a talk here, France. You you need to stop shafting me. I had I had 40% war participation. Hungary had like 10%, and yet you gave him a province. We're, we're going to have a nice long chat, and um, then I'm going to backstab you. You shouldn't have done that. That's the second time he has shafted us. Second time he has shafted us. It's like, the a does the AI just have programming? If ally equals player, fuck you. If ally equals AI, have some free shit. That's the only thing I can think of, is the AI is just programmed that if they're allied to the player, just act like an asshole. And if they're not allied to the player, be smart. Man, that sucks. That really, really sucks. That really, 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 really sucks. France is in some weird war now. What is this? He's at war with Portuguese. Oh, he joined Portugal's war, of course. I was hoping he wouldn't do that, but he has. <sighs> That's quite disappointing, France. You shouldn't disappoint me like that. It's not healthy for you. I wonder what idea group we should take. I think we'll get a military idea group going. Maybe offensive. Offensive gives faster sieging, right? Yeah, 20% siege ability. That's so good. I'll take offensive for sure. 
Ah, oh, France, why you do this? Why you do this? Why you do this? Check on Savoy. Oh, yeah, that's true. I should check. Come on back. Yeah, most of this shit doesn't matter. That cheaper tech is nice, but... I think I just want to get the idea group going. Yeah, let's get offensive going. So... Hey... Oh, no, the Emperor will join. Look at that. <laughs> He's just... Of course he'll join. He's like, I'm the Emperor. I'll join anything. Yeah. There's no rush on Nice. God damn it, France. Why Why you gotta be a dick? Like, what the fuck? Alright, I think we talked about getting a claim on Ragusa and de demanding it. I should probably do that. Man, that's so disappointing. I can guarantee France. Wow. France is so weaker than me, I can guarantee him. Is it time? Is it time to break the alliance? I don't think so. Oh, France has 100,000 troops with 50,000 manpower. I've got 200,000 troops with 200,000 manpower, though. Holy shit. I don't know. I don't know. Tell you what, if he gets my dynasty, I'm going to claim his throne. That's what I think is going to happen. And I'm thinking maybe I should have done that when I had the chance on uh, Commonwealth. Alright, let's claim Ragusa. You will give me Ragusa. How old is France's ruler? Like 19. Uh, 19, yep. Uh, yes, I have that achievement, AQJ. He's asking if I have the guarantee France, France, who is it? France, autos, and Russia? Yeah, I have that achievement. So, so disappointed in France right now. But at least we get to tech up. And we're going to take offensive. Let's do it. So first thing is mil military. All leaders that we recruit now will have one extra shock. That's pretty good. They already get one extra maneuver because of defensive. So getting one extra shock is, is pretty good. And then one extra fire later on. Very potent idea group. Diplomatic insult on the Mamluks. I'm just going to let that slide. I don't care. Uh, where's our claims on Portugal, by the way? I need you to get rid of your coalition, dude. You know, I don't think he can leave the coalition until he's at peace. And he's not going to be at peace for a while. Yeah, he's busy. He's fighting Muscovy? What the, why are you fighting Muscovy? Muscovy's friendly? Okay. What? Oh, right. Defender of the Catholic faith. That's what it is. Interesting. Man, so many weird things going on. Meanwhile, the annexation of Venice continues. He's at 83%. He'll finish February in two years. About two years from now. Nice. Get a whole new 37,000 troops. Probably delete some of them. And 44 ships, which I think I'll keep around. Probably just mothball them. Well, I don't know. Our, our, our limit might increase far enough to handle that. Maybe. Yeah, he's still fighting Brazil. He's fighting all of his colonies at the same time. You can see the diplomat mode here. He's fighting all of his colonies and Mexico, which is tough. But now France is helping him. So I guess his job got a little easier. I just don't think he's going to win. France still no baby.
Commonwealth is still fighting the uh, Bohemians. He's fighting the Emperor, but he doesn't have any manpower. Yeah, Commonwealths, they're starting to murk up. Which is interesting. All right, let's go ahead and head and demand Ragusa. What's the cost to core it? It's only 168. That's not that bad. Speed up. What's my rarest achievement? I don't know. You'd have to look. Scotland just allied the Commonwealth and Austria. Okay, that's fine. England's at war with Cusco. Well, have fun with that, England. And France had a baby. He did. Okay. All right, Hungary, give me this shit. Hey, thanks, Hungary. You're the best. Oh, oh, all right. Hey, triumph for the Balkans. We get 25 army tradition and 20 prestige. Sweet. With the reconquest of the Balkans complete, we can honor the victorious soldiers and generals with another triumphal march through the capital. Nice. Turn off some of these forts. Just because we're not really needing them. I don't think we need the Fort in Ragusa at all, but it is flatlands. And it's in Europe. I might as well keep my European forts. Especially once they're in flatlands. Yeah. Those are ideal. But I can turn the fort off at least. Save a little cash. That's one thing we could do is upgrade our forts to um, bigger sizes. The woods? I think I'd rather have you in somewhere else. And I don't think I want forts up there. Well, I don't know. In this case, it doesn't really matter if they're in the flats. It's this. Lose Diplo points? I don't want to lose Diplo points. Lose admin points. <laughs> Fuck you, game. <laughs> Either way, you lose one or the other. But I do need Noble Loyalty. Noble Loyalty is so low. Alright. We'll uh, lose the Burger Loyalty. Gosh darn it. Uh, call a Diet. There you go. There's your Loyalty. Give me some Monarch points. There you go. Gain 15 loyalty and then gain some money. All right. Works for me. Draft ships for war, lose loyalty. But you get some, you get five free heavies. You know, I don't need the free heavies. We're good. I took the money instead, which is similar. Sweet. Too few rivals. Yeah, well, what are you going to do? Lost a claim on Austria. That's not good. Lost a claim on Graz. Probably okay. I don't really care about Graz. Well, I mean, I do, but not that much. Huh. Yeah, we got to start eating more of Europe. Austria, you want to give me Milan? Not threaten war while there's a truce. I have a truce? Oh, I have a truce for two years. Okay. I guess I could attack you. Yeah, Bohemia is going to join no matter what. Fighting in another war. Interesting. Look at this. Fighting in another war, negative 50. Fighting in another war, negative 1,000. Even though it's the same thing. I wonder why it's negative 1,000 versus negative 50. Uh, anyway, yeah, let's claim another province over here. Brisco, St. Gallen. Ostmarch is pretty good. 24 development. Those are claimed by my vassal. That's fine. Yeah, sure, Ostmarch. Beat up Tunis. Hmm... Yeah, he's got no allies. It's a good idea, actually. What I want to happen is I want Portugal to leave the coalition, but he can't do that while he's at war. Once he leaves the coalition, we can go annex most of Castile. 
Actually, maybe he just won't join against us. Does that work? Oh! Portugal's no longer defender of the faith. He must have lost that at some point. So I can just declare on Castile right now. Well, that works. Alright, where's my boats? My boats! Castile has no armies here. For some reason. I'm going to fabricate all over Tunis. We'll just go eat him. Nom, nom, nom. Nom, nom, nom. Oh, Korea just full next Manchu. Wow, Korea's back. Holy shit. They were uh, not doing so hot just a little bit ago, but now they're allied to Ming. They're doing great. Two stacks should be enough for Castile. He's got one fort, I think. No, he's got another fort, but it is outdated. Oh, he's got three forts. Uh, only one of them's outdated. Gross. Can we full next Tunis? I don't think so. He's um 117%. So we can take most of them. Hey, Ragusa has converted. Nice. Core that shit. Oh, we can't core it yet. Okay, soon we can core it, though. Meanwhile, get on the damn boat. I wonder when Portugal lost Defender of the Catholic Faith. He must have had a call to arms that he said no to. That's probably what happened. Now, the War with Castile will take some time, because we're going to get Ticking War Score. It's going to be slow. Ah, we're going to have to rely on the Ticking War Score. But the cost of his provinces should be, you know, nothing amazeballs. Okay, Cor Ragusa. 11 points a month. All right. Fund the army. And I need a diplomat back, so hurry up. Lost a claim on Austria again? <sighs> okay. All right, so I'll declare for Badajoz because there's no fort there. We'll just go siege it real quick. And I'm going to do a conquest. Yeah, cleansing of heresy is just not going to happen because there's not going to be any battles. But at least with this, I'll get taking war score. Steel's capital is in San Francisco, and I don't really want to sail that far. It's a long way to go. Okay, we got the war. We got the war goal already. Good job, everybody. Good job. Do I have a siege general I could use? Do I have a siege? I do not have a siege general. Oh well. So I don't need generals in these armies because I don't have any siege pips on them. What I can do is take 15 guys and just dump them off on Galicia. That's probably what we'll do. I can get to Lyon through France and just walk through France. Do I have access? Uh, I do now. There you go. Man, Europe is just falling apart. The Empire is literally tearing itself apart. They're voting for... Holland? Yeah, they're voting for Holland now, for Emperor. 
I guess they're sick of Bohemia being crappy. I can understand that. Bohemia is pretty crappy in this in this day and age. Meanwhile, with all this money, why don't we get some wonderful universities going? There goes our cash. That was quick. <laughs> I'm going to fo focus on the Greek areas, because those are the areas that benefit us the most. Greek and Turkish. Those are the best for us, because they're accepted cultures. Oh, hey, my vassals are here. Hi, vassals. Hi. I guess I... Oh, free stability. I guess I don't need to go to Galicia, because my vassals are there. Nice. Disband the Empire? Yeah, I've already spoken about that today. It's not so easy to do. You have to get into a war with the Emperor and all of the Electors at the same time, which is very difficult to do. You cannot have multiple wars against the Empire going at the same time. The game doesn't let you do that. Gibraltar has fallen. Very good. Is it goodbye, Venice? They're at 100%. Venice! Bye! Nice knowing you, Venice. Really. It, it's been it's been a blast. Oh, shit. An advisor died. Uh, you were Master of Mint, I think? Yeah, you were. So we can get another Master of Mint, maybe? Nice. So good to get these level 3s at half cost. Goodbye, Venice. Oh, nice. All this glorious land. So how far over the limit are we now? Oh, we're over by 20. All right, tell you what. Don't need those. There we go. Now we're not over by 20. Easy peasy. Just walk to Rome and I'll figure out what to do with you later. So our only vassal now is Florence. I'm going to top off relations with him. Ally the electors? Dude, there, there is literally no way I could ally anyone in the Empire right now. Do You, you do realize that they, they hate me. 224 aggressive expansion, 139 aggressive expansion, 359 aggressive expansion. I could not ally the electors. Don't, don't even... You're, you're crazy. You are legit crazy. Ally the electors. Come on now. Alright, free diplomat. Mm, well, I can't peace out with Castile. Actually, maybe I can. Not quite. I mean, it's cheap. It's cheap land, but he won't give it to me yet. I don't think I can get all of that. But I can probably get 46 war score from ticking war score. I I'm assuming, like, how much is each province worth? It's not worth very much. Actually, Salamanca was worth 24%. Wow, that's worth a lot. Wonder why. I honestly don't know why that's worth so much, but can't complain. Uh, what about Venice's navy? Where's your navy? Did he delete his navy? His navy just deleted itself. 
I shit you not, his navy does not show in this list, which means I think he deleted it. Uh, okay. So in the meantime, let's fabricate on... Wurttemberg. Oh my god, Castile dropped off two soldiers. Good job, Castile. Like, what the fuck were you thinking? It's actually a stack of four. What, what the fuck was that, Castile? He actually sailed over from the New World, dropped off four soldiers into an army of 23. How, how does that make any sense? AI smirt. AI smirt. No, you can't have access, Austria. Is there a button where I could just say, hey, never ask for access, or just don't even show me the pop-ups for access for Austria. I don't want to see it. We're trading in salt now? Nice. Military idea number two, recruitment time. That's pretty useless, but okay. If all of the ideas were amazing, then people would only take ideas, right? But since all of the ideas are, I mean, since some of the ideas are pretty underwhelming, uh, the idea groups can be considered sort of balanced. All right, let's peace out here. Should be able to get what we want. No? Why won't you give me that? He won't even do this. I have claims on all this shit. <laughs> Length of war, negative 32. Oh, come on. Length of war, negative 32? Are you serious? Wow. All right, so yeah, that's going to take some time just because he's a stubborn little shit. No, you can't have peace if you're not going to give me what I want. Portuguese, Brazil, Caraibas, and Louisiana will remain subjects to Portugal. Portugal will concede defeat. Are you shitting me? All of his colonies and Mexico went to war with him. All of them. And all he did was concede defeat. Holy shit. What is your liberty desire? 48. 78. I mean, they're going to be right back at 100 liberty right away. Holy crap. Anyway, that's going to have to do it for now. Thanks for joining me, guys. I've been Shen. You've been you. Come back next time. You know what I can do? I can drop off troops down there. Yeah. Come back next time where we'll try to piece out of this silly, 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 silly war. All right. I'll see you next time. Have a good day.